And then we got this. I think this is going to be huge. I think uh, 2019 really helped us better understand who we were as a company, especially on the design side that, yeah, you know what? We can take design up a notch. So here we are, January of 2019. Yeah, we gotta come up with a new M design. What are we gonna do? Before we just, we didn't really do anything in terms of kind of tactile stuff. I was talking with Jason and we're standing in front of one of the machines and we're just going over various things. We kind of decided that, you know, having a single spline would be kind of nice. It makes it easier to find it from a tactile perspective. We took a lot more like time and like to consider the feedback that we had been receiving from from customers that said like, oh, it's kind of hard for me to find the airport in the dark and, and stuff like that. Now I could pick up this device off of a table without looking at it and I could feel, oh, there's the cap, there's the tip, oh, there's the airport because there's a ring around the airport and oh, there's the rocker. So now I can uh, modulate this thing and I have it precisely located in my fingers, in my grip, knowing where all the features are without looking at it. But it really just started kind of evolving into, into what the M is today. Everything still kind of holds to this form in some degree, especially the rocker. When you grip the device and you rock it a little bit, what you would see is the airport just opens and closes nice and easily, allows for a very simple modulation of the incoming airstream to cool and condition your vapor. I, I always kind of liken what we do to uh, how people feel about automobiles and cars and, and whatnot. And then, you know, everyone's, oh, they, that 69 Camaro or, 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 or whatever, you know, people kind of hold on to, you know, what their first love was. And, and I think the 2019 was kind of the, the first love for a lot of those people. It's the beginning of, of kind of tactility and customer suggestions. So maybe that was a lot of why you know, most people really liked it because we started incorporating those things and, and listening to them. Shortly after getting into production for the 2019M, we ended up moving a lot of our CNC machines from one side of our shop here at Gene Street to the other. So we were expanding a little bit. We were hiring some more people. We were diversifying our product line a little bit more. Seems like we're starting to run out of parking. We also gained access to another significant portion of the building that we're in. We're going to have some office space in this building. Check it out. All right, so in here we have some cubicles. We have some accounting, some bookkeeping, some uh, just general production management and customer service. Making it a little bit easier for all of the finishing assembly QC and at that point order fulfillment to kind of fit in the space where it was as we were growing. I think this is gonna be our new studio. I guess the big news is our media department's gonna move again. Is that kind of a thing, Ben? We move the media department every few months? I think we're gonna grow this company this year. Seems like a good idea. Let's, let's grow the company, let's make more stuff, and let's send it all over the world and make a bunch of people really happy. M launch is going to happen on March 14th, or Pi Day in Spain. We did a pre-order, starting it when we launched the product at Spanibus in Barcelona. Greetings, and welcome to Dynavap Live from Barcelona, Spain. It's gonna be a really fun episode, been looking forward to this one for months. And it's all about the 2019 M and finishing up at the end of March. We're gonna start taking pre-orders, which ties into one of the most significant things I think that we're gonna do this year and that's the Karmavap. If you haven't heard of it, let me give you a quick summary. We are going to include a free vaporizer uh, without the knowledge of any of our customers on every single 2019 M pre-order that we get from the time when we launch the M in, on March 14th to the time we start filling orders and we anticipate the first people are receiving them somewhere in the neighborhood of April 1st. We were busy back here taking a lot of our older 2018 stock and lasering Karmavap on the side of the stem and Karma onto the side of the cap. And then we included one of these, what we called Karmavaps, with every single one of the pre-orders and introduced the whole concept of paying it forward and sharing is caring kind of 
into the vaporizer space. I feel like it's, it's this next week is what we've been working for, for like the last three years, is to get to this point where I'm looking at the you know, April 1st, is basically like telling the whole world, here we are. And holy cow, you know, here we are, almost three quarters of the way through 2019. And it has been awesome. You know, although things have changed a little bit and re further refined, um, you know, this kind of this kind of set the path forward for for the M, uh, you know, 2019 and after. And I feel like we're just getting started. It, it's such an amazing time right now to think, what has this new technology enabled?